Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to end of the year reading or the last days of this year or December. What to expect, loves? Or what you need to be aware of or pay attention to? Let's see the messages that are coming in for you. And I know somebody here asked about their finances, to do a reading regards finances. If there's nothing about it in your reading, we'll look in for that especially. It's kind of a pull, a few cards extra, and we'll see. But let's see what the spirit brings to Sagittarius. As always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We have a two of pentacles. What's the doubt here, loves? Ace of swords. It's kind of like, I don't know what to believe. What's true and what's not true. Seven of swords. Okay. I'm hearing some of you, someone here asked you for a second chance. And Spirit says, do you really want it? Because something here you need to think carefully. I feel here whatever and whoever tries to come could be a a masculine energy but definitely you know them could be a father figure could be someone you know before it's a very the ego out there but based on the energy someone here could got away with certain things or could get into a fight with you and I'm seeing you more in a light energy more outgoing and what i'm hearing now sagittarius again this reading might not be for everyone but someone here feels like you're doing too great like the energy you bring it's a peaceful it's a flowing and they come here to disturb your peace so that's why with this two of pentacles why are you doubting? Why are you even thinking of allowing this person? Because you, you kind of know very well how much chaos they brought in. I, you know, I don't really share my personal energy here, but uh, with the Seven of Swords, somebody here, it's even envious for your own energy. You might not be, you know, physically interacting with this person, but energetically here, energetically here is kind of like, why do you be like, they could be jealous of you that you're moving on with your life or you're doing great or you're feeling at peace or you are not looking or searching for them. Somebody here, it's a troublemaker. So by the end of the year, be careful who you are letting back. Speaking of, we still have Mercury retrograde till January 1st. And also we'll have a post shadow. Let's see more. Eight of Swords. There are certain things here you might not see, loves. Or you might not feel like you can see. But it seems here that look at you loves yeah somebody here feels like they 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 can benefit something from you or they need some help from you i'm having here fire energy air and for some of you it's earth but it's very much fiery and air energy If you had a very hard time to move on from someone, you already are moving. 
okay i feel here you could struggle moving on from this person or from this energy if you're still doubting if you moved on or not based on the energy spirit says you you are on the move already you are not stuck anymore eight of swords ten of cups for some of you, this could be a family member with the Ten of Cups or someone here who, who you share great memories, great time. Yes, look at here. For some of you, it could be the, the mother, father of your kids. But definitely here, someone feels like you are the one out there or you're the one to share, King of Swords. Definitely a air energy. King of Swords, however, it's a very coldish energy, cold individual. But this person, they cannot get over those memories you had together. Could be even your twin flame. <coughs> Oof. So whoever is this person, they are not moved on from you. What's the Three of Pentacles here? Let's see. So for some of you, my deal here, they could have Sun in Gemini, Sun in Aquarius, Sun in Libra. Or could even have Leo in the chart. Because I have two Leo cards here, two Leo, two Sagittarius cards. So Leo, Sag and Air Energy, very strong. Yeah, another Leo card here with the strength. They really they really believe that you you two can work things out. You can pass through whatever was ten of wands and leave behind all the the, the bad stuff. It's been quite a while for some of you. Knight of Cups. They come with a different offer. And that is love. Okay. Let's see here. Why are you in this Two of Pentacles in the first place? Knight of Swords. So definitely here someone rushes back in. Okay. Knight of Swords. King of Swords. Okay. One more card. Spirit says, don't rush into making a quick decision or whatever here you are feeling, don't rush. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, this person really wants the real thing. Look at here. They want to start all over. Okay, even for some of you, this person comes and may offer you a ring. They may come with a ring. For some of you, you might be between um, an old person and a new person. Yeah, judgment. This person definitely, there is definitely someone here coming back. For some of you, this is your karmic. Okay. What's the seven of swords here? Chariot. This person is coming forward. They could be at a distance at the moment. They could have Cancerian. Yes, they travel. They travel to come and see you. Okay? So this person physically is not where you are. Or they don't live near you. Two of Wands. They, they decided to try it again. It's kind of they make a decision to come forward. Was the five of wands here? It's kind of against all odds. Nine of swords. They've been thinking quite a lot of whatever was said and whatever was not said. It's kind of like they, they want to resolve once and for all certain things. Knight of Wands, they, it's kind of they constantly thinking of you. It's like you you are all over. They are 
their mind, their soul, their face, their dreams. Three, oh yeah, they want to make make peace with you. They want to see you. It's kind of like Empress. Definitely here wants to work things out, but yeah, this is your ex loves. Nine of Pentacles. This is your ex. Definitely could be the father of your kids. As we've had um, the Emperor here at the bottom, now we have the Empress. So for some of you, this is your ex tries to come back. The connection with this person is not how is it? Okay. You could have kids. So if you never had kids with anyone, this is not your reading, loves, okay? But it seems here you're moving on either with someone new or you start a new connection recently, could be a month, could be two, three months. For some of you, you didn't see this person for a very long time, but now you are with someone new, either dating or seeing. It's not like you are already married or committed with someone, but it seems here that you have some kind of commitment here or you are going towards commitment. What's the wheel here? For some of you, you're doing pretty well, that's why. Let's see here, what's the first place this person comes back to you? Why in the first place this person comes back to you? Tower. Nine of Pentacles. Six of Cups. It's kind of like Spirit says you will be surprised was the reason. It's kind of like they, they regret not choosing you in the past or not, not seeing you for who you truly were. Yeah. And that they left. They, they did, it's kind of they didn't know any better with the Seven of Cups. They don't even understand why. Why I've done this. Six of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Hierophant. For some of you, either you are married with this person or committed or they were. But for many, many of you, you you were committed with this person. For some of you, they were committed with someone and they could not go away. Wow. So you definitely will be surprised why they will come forward or why they return. Okay, for those of you who ask about finances, I don't feel here you are struggling. Actually, I see you working hard, but let's see here, finance-wise. Four of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, Two of Swords, and Eight of Cups. Finance, finance, financially wise, loves. If you felt stuck in some kind of situation, I see you walking away. Either you didn't see any results or you, you feel that you are in a field that is not for you. There's, it's kind of all the science possible shows that you got to walk away. As hard as my seem, yes, yes. And walking away from where you are right now you are actually going towards fulfillment so for those of you who felt in some kind of situation that it's stuck hangman doesn't move hangman it's a delayed energy hangman also speaks about you sacrifice for something that is not for you or will not gonna bring you much 
And Spirit says, walking away from whatever it is, you are walking towards your fulfillment, towards abundance, towards great finances. So for those of you who are, ask about finances, something here you are moving on from, and Spirit says you will find that abundance you are looking, or that fulfillment you are looking. What advice we have from Spirit at this time regards Sagittarius, Ace of Wands, it's kind of a lot of things are going to happen in a very short time. Buckle up, loves. For many Sagittarius, you are, yes, you definitely are moving towards a new energy. Either it's love, either it's work. And I feel here there's a lot of reflection. Whatever you going looks quite promising and fulfilling, yes. For some of you, you could struggle for a couple of years. Yeah, look at this, Seven of Pentacles. Now will start showing up to you. It's kind of all the work will be paid off. Even for those of you who wanted to move into a new place or even buy a house or grow, you are going there. There's so much, Spirit says, you are moving towards stability. There's some kind of happiness coming in. And definitely you will, um, you will feel like a blessed person. Not lucky, but blessed. Whatever that is, look at here. It's kind of like there is a dream come true for some of you. But for many, many of you, there is something here you, you want to go towards. Took you time, but now you can have that. Also, for those of you who work for a very long time on something, it's kind of within a couple months, you will be exactly where you're supposed to be all this time. So whatever that is, loves, you are going there. But yeah. And yes, be aware of this person who... Who might come back love and light loves and happy holidays happy new year and i'll see you next time bye for now